says he has a disagreement. Sure. Two two four four, you're up. Two two four four, what's up? Two two four four. What's your disagreement? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we got, we got you. you. Oh, excellent. Uh, so uh, I was calling because, uh, Myron, one of the things that you said when you were uh, giving advice to men is uh, you should be a masculine man. And like, uh, I guess you would have like the three, uh, the three things: status, money, and uh, what the looks. What's it? So, uh, one of the things I was looking at was this. Okay, okay, I can see that that person getting a lot of uh, girls and stuff like that. But what I'm confused about is, what's with the feminine men that get a lot of girls? Uh, have you noticed that? Um, like, what do you mean? You mean like, what do you what do you mean by feminine men getting girls? Uh like let's say, uh, what do you call it? Uh, those e boys, e boys. They, okay. they get a lot of girls that just uh, what do you call it? Uh, come at them, and it's really easy for them to. Uh, Attract and uh, retain uh, e-boys? partners. E boys and uh, Korean, you ever seen Korean like the flower boys. Okay, so you answered your own question in in the first when you first. What was the first statement you made to me? Uh, the two things that uh, make a uh, what do you call it? The money, looks, and status. Okay, what do those Korean pop guys have? Well, I, I know they're K-pop. Like, well, I'm not talking about like the K-pop models. I'm talking. About, Okay, I see what you're trying to say, like with the... They have money and status, look. correct? Yeah, they, they, well, well, yeah, yeah, they, they, they do, but also, like, if you look at, like, let's say, the emo boys, right? They, they don't have gotten none of that. In fact, a lot of them are kind of, like, scrawny and kind of weakish looking. Okay. So what's your disagreement specifically? I'm trying to understand your disagreement here. Okay, so my disagreement was... When, uh, so my disagreement is... One of the, the three things, a lot of part of the Fresh and Fit podcast is you're trying to uh, get us to, uh, well, which I agree with. I agree with, you know, increase your money, increase your stuff, and increase your looks and stuff like that. Well, what I'm saying is, like, these guys, they don't want to try at all. A lot of them are brokies. Okay. Is that who you want to be? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not, I'm not saying that I, that I want to be brokies or nothing. I'm just saying, like, if you got money and status, but you don't have the looks, that these guys are still kind of going to be, uh, what do you call it? Let's see a girl's gonna look at them and still be like, okay, I'm with this. Uh, I'm with you for money you, and you know. Can you formulate what, what is what is your disagreement specifically? Can you tell me what your disagreement is specifically? Why do you even care? I'm just trying to figure out what his disagreement is. What huh. is your disagreement specifically, bro? Well, the disagreement was it seems like it contradicted with uh, what you were saying with the uh, three. Uh, it it contradicted what you were saying with uh, what contradicts like getting girls. Stuff What's the three things that you mentioned? The money, status, and looks. How does it contradict? Well, if you look at it, if well, let's say a person that's like not very good looking, right? They get money and status. Okay. That doesn't mean that they would retain uh, what do you call it relationships and stuff like that because I feel like the girls could just kind of cheat on them. Okay. So I, don't, I still don't understand what your disagreement is here because we've had many podcasts where we talked about if you're good in one thing, but you're deficient in others, it's probably going to come back to bite you in the ass. We've talked about this at, de- at like ad nauseum. For example, people in the chat are going to remember this. Let's say you have a lot of money, but you're a square and you're not the most attractive guy. Will you attract women? Absolutely. Will girls go on dates with you? Yes. But what's going to happen a lot of times is you're going to attract women that don't necessarily like you or are aroused by you. You're going to get a lot of star for sex. If you get later, you're going to have to pay for box, right? Or another example, let's say you're extremely attractive. You have the dark triad traits that, traits that women look for, but you're a brokey, right? You'll be able to attract women. You'll probably be able to get some quick lays here and there, but retention is going to be very difficult for you. You know, you're going to lose your girl to a lot of tricks and simps if she's that type of girl. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know what your disagreement is. We've talked about this ad nauseum, actually. Uh, I guess my disagreement was it kind of seems like no matter what you do, the girls are going to do whatever they're, you know, they're going to do and stuff like that. So I just don't see the point of like, you ever heard of the black What? I, I just don't see the point of really, uh, what's that word called? Bro, it's not for them, it's for you. Yeah. It, this is all for you, not for them. As a byproduct, they come along, but nigga, if she's going to cheat, 
if you're rich, if you're good looking, yeah. if you're successful, it doesn't matter. You're going to cheat regardless. Yeah, bro. No one is safe from this. Like, you're trying to figure out a way to be impervious to this bullshit. And we've told you a million times. Like, and you know what? Honestly, like, we've kind of done so much political stuff and, you know, um, debates with girls and shit like that. We haven't, like, done, like, red pill, like, one-on-one episodes with you guys like that because we just assume that you guys know but a lot of you guys like come to this stuff new and you guys kind of like forget all the thousands of episodes where we've like talked about this like ad nauseum because like you're asking a question here that tells me that like you haven't been watching our content because we've talked about this explicitly bro the only thing you could do is be the best version of yourself vet a girl properly and replace and if and then and then if you do the work right you're gonna significantly mitigate the risk that you're discussing which is a girl is gonna be unfaithful and do stupid shit to you However, it doesn't mean that it's 100%, bro. You're always going to have a likelihood of it. Your job is to bring the likelihood down as much as possible where it's a risk tolerance that you're willing to accept. And you don't always win, bro. Some and you don't always win. And you have to accept the fact that there's always going to be risk with modern-day women. That's why I tell you, get in the gym, be attractive, uh, obviously understand game, understand female nature. Have you know If you want to go ahead and play a dread game and have other women or at least have the illusion that you have other women, whatever you want to do, but the point is, is that, bro, no one is safe from this, bro. In 2024, no one is safe from this. Like the modern convents, uh, the modern, excuse me, the old school mechanisms that were in place to keep women from infidelity are gone, my friend. You ain't stoning chicks in 2024, and girls aren't going to go ahead and get like biblically struck by lightning either. What's the punishment in the Bible for adultery? Death, right? Well, there is a time where someone was to be stoned but those times are finished okay yeah. so in islam it's stoning christianity used to be you know uh, it could be a stoning a yeah stone. the point i'm trying to make is is like the scarlet letter and shame like that bro yeah. it's not a thing like girls literally brag about cheating on dudes on on there's, the internet slut walks so yeah they're slut walks and shit so the only thing you could do is increase your value to a point where she can't see another better option right and then obviously keep your masculine in check and be an attractive guy and a lot of times that handles 90 percent of the problems I'm be honest, but bro. you also have to vet the girl too, bro. <laughs> like, bro, we tell y'all, yo, six months to a year, vet her very thoroughly, bro. I'll be honest, and you're still not safe. Nowadays, it's how the girl feels at the moment, brother. Is it possible? Make her happy every single moment. Just yeah. do you, bro. Enjoy. I can the tell you, one of these black pill dudes, which is cool. I get it, but like, bro, you can absolutely overcome the odds. You just have to do a lot of work, and you're still not safe. Which is why so many guys opt out or become password bros to not deal with the shit that you're talking about right now. Just enjoy the experience. Yeah, so, see, see, it, it it does get crazy. It's like it's like no matter what you do, and I, and I really, I, first, first, I just gotta say I really appreciate you guys for doing this uh, sort of stuff. I know a lot of people don't do this. The Colin show, bro. In particular. Trust me, we we know like how annoying this is, bro. Like me and Fresh have been very open about like we understand why there's a passport bro economy. We understand why guys are opting to just like you know check out the dating game. We understand that there's a black people community. Like trust me, like bro, we know that there's incels. Bro. We understand and we feel for y'all ninjas yeah we make fun of y'all a little bit but we get it bro like why you guys are in the position that you're in the shit we've done bro like we've done the most insane shit to test certain theories certain protocols or practices bro i even try finessing chicks bro the shit we've done to just see how things work bro for you guys is insane bro yeah we do a lot of experiments on the side we should talk more about the shit that we do like Cause I, I well, we're not oh we're not as open about a dating life because you guys get be weird bro I ain't gonna yeah, lie to bro. y'all bro it's like weird. I used to be open and like tell you guys about the shit that I do and stuff like that but then you guys track down the girl and send her a message and shit and you guys be weird so it's like man I don't even want to tell sometimes and reveal like the little things I learned and tricks well, I, I learned I stopped doing vlogs with girls yeah yeah like these a lot of the guys kind of like ruined it for you guys but like bro yeah. we get it man trust me we're in America with you guys deal with the bullshit name another popular dating coach that's in America not many. Not many, bro. If at all. There's really not many. Yeah. Like all the like top dating coaches that I know, they're they're out the country, bro. And I don't blame them. <laughs> they're out the country, bro. My nigga Casey left. Yeah, to, niggas to, to Colombia, Colombia, Brazil. And then Brazil. Colombia, and they were baddies. Casey Red Bear Rants. Yeah. Shout out to him. Kills it, killing it, bro. Yeah. Have to work. Way hotter girls. Way higher return on investment. Yeah. I get it. I totally get it why dudes do what yeah, they do. If she's she going to cheat, she's going to cheat regardless. Bro. But look, here, our thing isn't to complain about it. Our thing is to give you guys solutions. Again, bro, increase your sexual market value as high as you can. Learn game. Maintain masculine frame. Understand female nature. That's so important. Pre-selection. You know, that comes from you having all these other things in place. Then, you find a girl that's worthy. You vet her for six months to a year. Then from that point, my friend, 
You decide if you want to make her a girlfriend or not. And then understand that you can always lose her. I know it sucks. Yeah. It sucks. There's a lot Color. of work. We're not much return Color. and there's a lot of risk, but this that's the game. This is why you have to be able to, able to replace her at any moment. Facts. That's why you raise your value so you replace her at any moment. If that's why it's so important to keep your SMV you high. You have to keep your <laughs> SMV high to keep her on her toes, bro. I mean, it's for you too. Don't get it twisted. But you keep you keep your SMV high so you keep her on her toes, okay? I, I I get you. I feel like it's just kind of like a sad thing because it's like you got to keep on trying and trying. Like I mean, it's not not trying for them. That's the central kind of marketplace, like, bro. Yourself. The only but, there's only two ways to get around this, bro. Okay, you either a opt out, right? Become you know black pill or become an incel, whatever. Which I don't I don't suggest you do. Or B, which a lot of guys do, is you go to another geographic location where sexual market value increases because of your status as an American, which is what a lot of guys do. They go to the Philippines, they go to Eastern Europe, Southeast Asia, South America. So See, do you think like uh then do you think that the girls that are over here, do you think that the population is just gonna start dying out and stuff like that? Like the whole no. western part? No, it's gonna get worse, bro. I'm telling y'all man, it's only gonna get worse because girls are adapting. You know what I see as a new trend now? Ever since uh like 2020? Oh, yeah, with the uh, soft girls? No. Trap thoughts. Mm. Oh, trap thoughts, yeah. That's, that's, that's a big, that's huge, bro. Especially this election cycle. Go on X. Go on these social media platforms. Look at all these girls saying, man, I got 24 with their boobs out. Are they saying N-word? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I see yeah, what you did there. and they're trying to get up to marry them also. So, so bro, um, like, it, it's, it's only, look, man, in the West, it's doom, bro. You, you, like, it's really doom. You know what I've realized, caller? And this is something that most men will have to realize. You're going to have to go to Midwest or some shit and really search. You're going to have to enjoy the experience until you find what you're looking for. And it could take years. It could take months. It could take a day. Just enjoy the experience, bro. And understand, hey, she's not the one, brother. Just enjoy the experience. That's it. Yeah. And that's what these, like, they, you know, and, and people on X get so mad at me. Like, the trad, the trad cons and these religious bros, they get mad at me inside. I push, like... Degenerative behavior, blah, blah, blah. All right, man. You know what? Go ahead. Find your virgin wife in America and see what happens. See, I find peace in doing what I want to do. She's just coming along for the ride and enjoy the experience. You, yeah. should, do, you should do the same, bro. Yeah, bro. Do what you want to do. Yeah, man. Increase your sexual yeah. market value and then just just shoot for the stars, my friend. All right? All right. Let's... Uh, oh, yeah. The West is doing, bro. Yeah, the West is doing.